In this how-to tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a jump link to another page within your site. That one is by itself not that impressive. But then I'm going to show you after that how you create a jump link to another page to a specific section within your site. And that one may just impress you so much. I'm JP here. Welcome to a how-to tutorial with Brizzy. Let's see what we've got here. I've got this page that I have constructed, a nice little WooCommerce shop. And what I want to do is maybe here, why choose our store? I want to add a link here that will take me to our stores, which is under our About page. So if I go into the About page, you will see here our outlets. So I want it to come to this page, which is just a normal link, but we can call it like a jump link. When people click on that, it takes them to the next page. Before I do that, one thing that I would recommend you do when you're working with a page, and let's go into the admin. We have to go down here to settings, and then you go to permalinks. Make sure that your permalinks is set to post name, because then it will take the name of your pages and your posts, Otherwise, like it was put on plain now, it will just have some ID, which is not always very easy to remember. Save those changes, and then let's have a quick look at the pages that we do have here. Oh, there's a lot, because it's my shop, it's my cart, everything. But we care about this page here. And the reason I want you to focus on this, because if we click on the About page and we go in here, we want to go have a look at the slug for the permalink over here, permalink, and then you will see it's about. This is something that you will need when you want to create that jump link. Actually, there are many ways you can do it, but keep this in mind. Let's go to the front end again and click on edit page with Brizzy. Right, so keep in mind what we're trying to achieve here. We want to add a link here that will, when you click on it, automatically take you to this page, the about us page or just about page. Now, I'm a lazy person, so I'm not going to redesign and make a new link from the beginning. I'm going to go over here to this button, click on it, and then duplicate it. Click and drag on the second one and put it down here. Let's style it. I'll put it on the left. We need some space there. Grab a spacer. Drop that. Looks much better. Let's change it. I'm going to say, check out our outlets. And now we have to create a link to the About Us page. So to do that, you click here on link and then you link here too. What many people do is that they will take the whole URL for this site slash forward slash about. All you need to do is put in a forward slash and about. Like so. And that's it. Let me show you update. And we're going to leave this page open. Click on preview. And now when the visitor comes to your page, scrolls down to the bottom, check out our outlets and click on that. It will take them to the About page. And this you can do with any other page on your site. As simple as that. Here's About Kronos. Right, so like I said, that one probably didn't make you stop in your tracks or blew your mind. It's like, well, I knew how to do that. On the other hand, ah, that could be an aha moment for you. But here is where I want to show you what you can do more. And that is creating that jump link to a specific section on the page. So if we go to the top of the About Us page, that's great. But you will see there's nothing about the outlets or the stores here. So you actually want them to go to a specific area on this page. In this case, it's our outlet. What we do first is edit the page with Brizzy. So this is the About page. And then we scroll down to the section the block where the outlet section starts here. Go to our block settings, click on that. Settings, and more settings, and go to advanced. Here you give the block a name, and I'm going to call it outlets. That's it. And now you have to save this page, update that. And you have to remember the name you had given it. So this section is called outlets, we can close it. And we go back to this page, which is our home page. Now what you do is you go back to this button, click on the link, and where you say link to forward slash about, you add hash outlets. See that? Hash outlets. Click outside, control command S to save your work. Let's preview it, go to the front. 
And then we are here on the home page. Scroll to the bottom. Click on check out our outlets. And now it will open the about page at outlets. Let's see if the magic works. There you go. And this is how you can direct somebody. You jump them to another page to a specific section by using that anchor link for the section, giving it the name. But let's go one step deeper into this. Let's say you want to direct them to the Singapore site. So let's say again, edit page with Brizzy. Scroll down and we go here, but you can see that all of this is inside this section. So how can I create a link to the Singapore section if I don't have a block? Click on the element that you have, go to settings, more settings, advanced and, well, where do I add the block name? Number one, it's not a block, but you can do the same under CSS ID. I'm going to call this one Singapore. Click outside and update. Let's close this page again. We go back to this one here on the home. Click on the link and then instead of outlets, we're going to type in Singapore. Update. To the front we go and we do the same like we did before. Go to that link, check out our outlets. And you see it takes us here to Singapore. The reason you cannot see that name at the top is because this WordPress toolbar is overlapping that. And that you can do with anything that can take a CSS ID. It doesn't have to be just a header or a text element. If we open this page and we go to an image, let's click on this image. Or oh, this is a, it's a column within a column. You go to the settings of the column, more settings, advanced. You will see you have the same option there. Let's choose something else. Let's choose an image. Is this image? Yep. You also go here to the settings, more settings, advanced. And again, you will see the opportunity to add a CSS ID. Great. Now you know how to add a link to a page. And when people click on that, it will jump to another page. And you can set up to jump to a specific block on that page or actually any element on that page. Hope this was useful. JP here at Brizzy signing off.